A lot of people, when they try and juggle three, all the balls do the same thing. They all get thrown every third time because there's three of them. So this is the kind of throw that we call a three. And so every time you throw a ball like that, we just call it a three. The same thing happens when we juggle four. So if I juggle four, I can juggle two in each hand because they will have to take it in turns. So when I juggle two in each hand, each ball is thrown every fourth time. They're all doing the same thing. And so because it's four balls and each ball is thrown every fourth time, that kind of throw we call a four. Going downwards, if you have one in each hand and you throw them, then you have to throw the green, then the yellow, then the green, then the yellow, and they don't change hands again. So this is what we call a two. But at speed, you don't really get time to release the ball, so you just hold it and you call that a two. If you've only got one juggling ball, then it has to get passed from hand to hand. So that is what we call a one. So that's a one, that's a two, that's a three, that's a four, and a five is a nice high and arcing throw. So um, when we do the standard three ball pattern, we can describe that as just three, 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 three. So a juggling trick, it looks like, can be described by a string of numbers. It's really boring if you just do the same number all the time. So it's possible to have different strings of numbers that correspond to different juggling tricks. In a way, the strings of numbers represent the juggling tricks. They are a notation for the juggling tricks. And there's a huge array of different things that can be done because there's a huge array of different juggling tricks. What we discovered is that you can mix them up. For example, you can do a four and a two and it works. So in the middle of juggling f three balls, you can throw one to come back to the same hand, hold up the other one, and then go back. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing lots of threes and then four, two, three, 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 four, two, three, 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 three. So I can mix them up. We can also actually just apparently launch into doing four balls, but one of them missing, and you end up with a four, a four, a four. I'm missing one. That's a zero. And then I end up with four, 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 zero. And so in the middle of juggling three balls, I can do four, 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 zero, and it works. The amazing thing was that sandwiched in between a four, two and a four, 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 zero lives four, four, one, a juggling trick that we did not know. And so if you can do a four here and a four here and a one across the bottom, you can do it just the once. So you can do four, four, one. But I can do it continually. Four four one 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 four four. And that was a juggling trick we did not know. It emerged because we knew the sequences of numbers corresponding to juggling tricks.